Welcome back to the channel, not necessarily for the greatest circumstances, as I'm sure you're probably following. Several countries are responding to the emerging conflict in Israel as Iran launches over 100 drones towards the country, and at this point in time, unconfirmed reports of ballistic missiles. As part of a direct response to the concerns surrounding safety, Israel's airspace has been closed alongside Lebanon, Iraq, Jordan, Iran for VFR flights, and Israel. Egypt, with potentially more to follow. The immediate reaction to close airspace comes, like I mentioned, as Iran has fired drones into Israel, which are set to arrive at any moment now. Major airlines have also been made to make significant adjustments to their network, whether this be the cancellation of flights or, in some instances, major rerouting. Qantas became one of the first airlines to respond to the emerging conflict by rerouting its Perth to London flight, now via Singapore, to avoid the airspace it would typically use. Additionally, there are several flights that are currently airborne on Flight Radar 24 being tracked by over 100,000 people. They are meant to be bound for countries that have their airspace closed. This means they are being forced to divert to other cities. Please be aware that there are currently difficulties in tracking aircraft. So, in some instances, like a Q8 Airways flight bound for Q8 is showing it is flying over Israel. This is not the case. This is the predicted flight path as tracking is down in that area. United Airlines has also announced it'll suspend flights towards Israel a matter of weeks after first resuming services. This came following an initial suspension in October 2023 amid a conflict breakout. Interestingly, United Airlines was the only airline to have officially relaunched flights towards Israel, with Delta set to commence on June 7th, but obviously that will now be reviewed once more. The other member of the big three, American Airlines, had not decided to relaunch following a suspension in 2023. United was arguably the most vocal, also deciding to halt its route towards Jordan following uncertainty over airspace and flight safety. This is a developing situation. I will be on hand to cover any significant updates surrounding not necessarily the conflict, but more so the effects on airspace, airlines, and travel. Thank you for watching and please do take care and stay tuned. And we'll fly.